Officials with Jasper National Park say the wildfire has reached the town of Jasper and crews are battling multiple structure fires and trying to protect some key infrastructure in the area. First responders were ordered out of the park earlier for their safety and to give fire crews more room to operate. They're trying to protect the homes of about 5,000 people. The fire is burning in the south end of Jasper while a second wildfire is north of the town. Some 25,000 people were forced from Jasper National Park earlier this week ahead of the fires. And the Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, posting on social media about the situation, saying in part, we have received Alberta's request for federal assistance and we're mobilizing every necessary resource available to everyone who is fighting those, these wildfires or helping those evacuating from Jasper. Thank you. Just click subscribe. In Alberta, a frantic emergency exodus took place overnight at Jasper National Park. Several wildfires south of the town prompted an evacuation order for all of the visitors and 4,700 residents. The order was issued just before 10 p.m. People drove in the dark and encountered detours because the flames were coming so close to the roads and highways. The fire spread quickly with park and town officials scrambling to clear up the gridlock. People were told to pack important documents documents, food, water, pets, and medicine for several days. It was like an apocalypse or something. Like it was an eerie feeling. Just click subscribe. Fires, 25,000 people managed to flee those fires. Uh, they left Jasper. They are safe at reception centers across Alberta and BC, but what they left behind, as Lindsay's been showing you this morning, is being destroyed. Joining us this morning is Bob Covey. He's an evacuee and the editor-in-chief of the Jasper Local. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, first of all, where are you staying now? I'm staying in British Columbia in neighboring town of Valmont. You've been watching these images that we've been sharing uh, this morning. This is the town and some of their most historic sites in flames. How do you feel watching those pictures? I haven't been seeing the pictures this morning. Uh, the, the, uh, it's locally very early here, but I did see photos last night. Um, we, you know, I, I'm feeling like a lot of the 4,700 or so residents who are imagining their home may be destroyed. I'm uh, in shock. I'm devastated. I'm worried for, our, you know, the, the next steps. Yeah. Can you tell us about your evacuation journey there, Bob? How did you get out? What was it like? And what are you thinking about this morning? What have you left behind there? Uh, we were given about uh, 90 minutes notice um, and the evacuation was ordered at approximately 10 p.m. Jasper time. So we were thinking get the family safe, collect as many important things as we could and head to safety. We thought we would be uh, able to return. You know, we were hoping for the best, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then when weather conditions didn't cooperate in the last few uh, 24 hours or so. We uh, have all been in shock and watching in horror as um, despite the best efforts of a very professional, dedicated, compassionate team, uh, it looks as though this is the community's worst nightmare. Yeah, you know, you've been reporting on local Jasper News for a decade. Have you ever seen your community go through something like this before? No, we've been through strife with regards to other wildfires and um, power situations. Um, nothing compares to this. What are you most concerned about, Bob? Well, it's hard to get a sort of a grip on that right now. I mean, I think I'm most concerned about just the day-to-day -day, uh, questions such as w will our homes, our neighborhoods be habitable? And then from there, you know, what are the institutions, what state are they in? Will we have schools to send our kids to? 
is the hospital okay? We're just, it's just so uncertain right now. I'm, as a resident, uh, really worried, as a re reporter, I'm, I'm very curious. So I'm mm -hmm. waiting like you are for any sort of break in the chaos to be able to hear our uh, professional team give us some sort of update. And uh, I'm just thankful that we're okay and we have lots of support in the neighboring communities and from family members who have said we can stay with them. So it's going to be a, a summer full of uncertainty, I think, and we'll have to rally together as a community. Bob, it's tough to wear two hats, especially in big stories like this. You know, there's their, their professional hat, but as well as one is a resident who lives and loves that community. You know, it's early there, as you pointed out, so I want to thank you for joining us this morning. We are going to continue to watch, as are you, and I want to thank you for your time this morning. Best of luck. Thanks. Just click subscribe.